Welcome back, kids. <coughs> this is a sleeping live stream. People get paid for this. They just sit there and sleep all day. One of the most lazy ways to make money, but it works. They're mostly attractive people. You even find those on YouTube, Twitch, TikTok doing challenge sleep live streams where, where people just sleep and then depending on what you donate or whoever in the chat donates or responds in a certain way, certain things can happen to the person who's trying to sleep. Never gonna give you up by Rick Astley. <laughs> Order a 12 ounce container of lubricant. Hey! One moment. Hey! Hey! Like to shop for this item. Yay, yeah, stop! Stop! I like Alexa, to stop! Play Ram Run. I like to stop! Like certain sounds will play or alarms will go off or somebody will just come in and smack the person. Like whatever whatever it may be, whatever the person decides. Which is innocent enough, right? Like these people start their own live stream and they're in their own room, their own space. People watch them. It's not like everybody's just sitting in the room watching them, right? Now, it's hard telling what people get out of this. The internet's a strange place. But what is weird about it is that, imagine, people can do what they want behind their computer or behind their phone. So, it's hard telling what people are getting from this. Kyker Koba is a YouTube channel, one of the strangest and most disturbing communities on YouTube. A very dark and weird corner of society. If you've never heard of a sleep fetish, good. But there are those who get sexual arousal, a hard-on, if you will, for snoring and the compromising, vulnerable position of a sleeping person. You know, the eyes rolling in the back of the head. Is that an exposed leg? Uh-oh. You know, what do I see there? Listen, I'm, I'm a bit of a hipster. I reject the cold side of the pillow. You know, I kind of just drown in my own sweat and slobber. Now, this YouTube channel, which is still on the platform, features quality footage of sleeping men and compromising angles of their feet. Now, I couldn't tell you whether the person who ran this channel has a foot fetish or a sleep fetish or one of the best of both worlds, but you get it here. With such titles as Snoring Open Eyes, Two Drunken Guys Asleep, and Socks of a Sleeping Guy, you can kind of guess what's going on here. There were a few other channels with this strange sort of content on YouTube, but they have since been taken down. But this one, this one's still up. The first upload posted on January 9th, 2017, entitled Hot Male Feet, is as strange as the concept sounds. A man walking down a public sidewalk, and he approaches a man who seems to be homeless and incapacitated to some extent. He quickly gets a shot of the man's feet, but the videos get progressively stranger, and this channel posts sporadically over the next two years, ending February 23rd, of 2019 with a bold post a sexy snoring hefty man unsuspecting I'm not getting this like is this a channel where people send in submissions or is this one guy finding all of these sleeping people and just getting really good angles of their feet and nose is this one guy making all this sexy content listen i'm not i'm not into it but like a half a second of like a foot like is that all it takes for a foot fetish people is that all you need is it the is it the compromising position is it the vulnerability of someone sleeping it's a bit rapey. I'm not saying I like it, but like, where's the premium content, right? Like, I'm not seeing it here. You need better angles, better lighting. Just something needs to happen here. Better production. Like, honestly, honestly, is this all it takes for sleep fetish foot people? You're a strange tribe. What do foot people do all day? They just, you just suck on toes? On my journey of discovering this snoring and foot fetish channel, I came across this playlist entitled Snoring and Sleeping Live, which features young girls. It features live streams and videos of young girls sleeping and snoring. I know there's dark things and predatory things on YouTube, but it was very strange that this popped up at the top when I searched sleep live stream girls. Somebody has compiled a playlist of children sleeping and snoring and 
being in a vulnerable position. Uncovering this is a far more disturbing discovery than I originally thought this content was. Moving on from Snoring Feet, we have a channel that is 14 years old on the platform and has been consistently uploading since then. And a major part of the channel's content surrounds the topic of... I'll let you guess. I've been doing a garden and utilizing... The benefits of drinking your own urine. Yes, of course, yep. I mean, not not a crazy concept uh, if you've heard of this before. So, this channel is called Four Eyes to See and features an eerily happy woman who's more than delighted to share her pee drinking stories and benefits. There is a huge backlog here, but I want to show you some of my favorite gems. So, let's dig a little bit into Four Eyes to See. So, this video is just her speaking no particular language at all. And the facial expression kind of leaves me uneasy. The description is transcending the language barrier for ears to hear. And do you see when they go on? Uh, oh, yeah, look at this. Wow. And thank you for doing it. And ah, I'm going to say. And tell you what you're doing. Ah, this is part car car. And Dora. I don't know anyone. And now we'll see. I like. And we put the red party, send it to ha pum pum pum. Yeah. Look, I'm not trying to pick on this woman. Honestly, there are people out there who bathe, drink, moisturize, exfoliate, photosynthesis in urine. And if you're going to have a spokesperson, I'd say it'd have to be this lady. She straight up cured everything with her own pee. And moreover, she actually grew plants using her own pee. I've been doing a garden and utilizing Shivambu, recycled urine, the living water, right? The golden nectar. And recycling this good stuff. Whoops, hang on. I'm just... And just get a bottle of it and have it out here. I use a tablespoon per gallon, approximately. You know, not a lot. Doesn't take a lot, right? Have you done that? <clears throat> Hi, friends. Thought I'd come to introduce you to a few of my very good friends. Like these girls saved my life. Yeah, well, they're pretty girls. <laughs> I happen to live in a state where they respect and uh, acknowledge the medicinal qualities of this beautiful plant. These girls saved my life because I think I was diagnosed with cancer in 2004. So six going on seven, six years. We'll see. Next Sunday on a shocking season finale. I'm addicted to drinking my urine. But wait, there's more. I use urine for toothpaste. Under my eyes, in my ears, through my hair. Your toxins are higher than they should be. It could kill you. I will never stop drinking my urine. I like warm pee. Maybe a little lemony. A shocking season finale of My Strange Addiction, next Sunday at 10 on TLC. Now for this final one, we're just going to dive right into it. Everybody has their thing. Everybody has their thing. Broken Bitch Bella. Now, this is a Boots fetish channel. Not the monkey from Dora, but like boots on your feet. Particularly thigh high boots. And the person who runs this channel kind of just wears a rubber mask. And sure, whatever makes you feel good, drag type stuff. Publicly walking with a facial obscuring feminine rubber mask adds to the aesthetic. Nothing dark here, mainly just a little unsettling. And on this journey, I'm discovering new fetishes and learning and growing and becoming a more well-rounded human. 
And I think I deserve a like and subscribe for that. So thanks for watching.